Well, I'm from Italy and I grew up in a small town where there is no art and no history, believe me, and it's called Pescara. Uh, it's on the sea, so it's a beautiful beach and, you know, but um, it's, a new, it's a new town. It can be anywhere in the middle of the United States. So then uh, I guess I was ready to leave when I was really young and uh, I had a desire to make art, but my parents didn't want me to be an artist at all. So, uh, you know, I had to wait that I was, you know, when I was 20, when I finally decided to leave my family and leave the town. And I went to study graphic design and photography in a beautiful, beautiful little Renaissance town called Urbino, which is in a region called Marche, in a very beautiful part of Italy, central, close to Tuscany and Umbria and all that. And the minute I arrived there, I fell for, you know, uh, the town, the history, the art, whatever was left and whatever usually, you know, visitors and tourists admire of my country. Um, while I was studying graphic design, I discovered f photography and then film and then animation film. And so I immediately thought that's what I want to do in my life, but I had no way to study or to make it. And so again, to cut a very long story short, uh, I had to wait another 10 years before this dream could come through. And it came through when I finally got a Fulbright and I came in the United States in 1998 to study at CalArts in California, experimental animation. And then, unfortunately, I was forced to leave the United States for immigration reasons. I went back to Italy. When I finally managed to come back in 2005, the end of 2005, I made it through residences like this one, basically, or similar to this one. And Breckenridge was one of the, uh, well, not exactly the first place, but definitely one of the first in Colorado. And I was the first artist in residence. And what happened, uh, during this uh, second trip to in the United States, I start to work on this project, which I'm still working on. It's an animated experimental film. It's called Lo Sguardo Italiano, translated The Italian Gaze. And it is a gaze on my country, and it's a very personal gaze, and we'll talk about things that I love, and I'm still, you know, fascinated, like, you know, uh, all the heritage and history and art um, that is beautiful. But we also talk about the, um, the pain and the struggle to, um, to be born there and not find a way to be an artist.